Hi guys, it's Hanif from Eclipse All Sports and I'm just wanting to bring you another Bass Cricket Bat review. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Bass Bow 2020 Cricket Bats, uh, used and endorsed by South African international player Hashim Amla. So you might have seen him using it uh, when he was over in England touring with South Africa. So we're going to go through the bats that we've got in stock. Uh, so we do have five of these bats available. Uh, grade wise, these are grade one English Willow. They sit just below and the players edition limited edition uh, bass cricket bat which is the top of the range and then these sit just below that so if you have a look at the grains lovely looking grains and we'll just try and get some specs for you on this one we're looking at 10 grains nice straight and even grains really nice looking bat it could easily be graded as a player edition bat uh, the limited edition top range and uh, edge wise you're looking at a 38 millimeter edge and a 62 63 millimeter spine so a pretty big bat and it's weighing in at 210.9 ounce so quite a big bat there and if you just look down the spine as you can see very little to no wood taken out so a very wide sweet spot as well as a very long sweet spot so like I say with these bass bats this particular one you're looking at probably a mid to low middle you can plenty of wood uh, down towards the toe and then with that spine going up into the handle you're getting plenty of wood up into the handle, uh, medium thickness, uh, semi oval at the bottom, tapers to around at the top, rubber inserts in the handle, uh, double coloured, double textured grip. Uh, the stickers have not changed uh, for the 2018 season, so still the same textured embossed with the gold and the maroon with the white as well. So, yeah, lovely looking back. And the bow, just got a gentle bow down towards the toe. And then you've got the bass ink stamping as you get on all the bass bats. Um, so nothing really changed, like I said. Um, so we'll go into the balance and the pickup, and then we'll see how it performs. Uh, so 210.9. And for me, <coughs> with that middle position being a little bit lower than on some of the other bass bats, it probably feels around about 210. Um, maybe a little bit heavier than 210, not too much lighter than what the dead weight suggests, I wouldn't say. Um, but it certainly feels nice in the hands. And then we'll just give it a tap up with the Reader Sovereign Cricket Ball. So, yeah, the rebound is excellent. Really responsive, straight out of the packet. Uh, the bass bats for me are probably some of the best press bats uh, that you can get out of the Indian market. They're not a soft press. Uh, like a lot of Indian bats, take a long time to knock in and get ready. Uh, they're more of a medium press, which means they're not going to take a great deal of time uh, to get match ready, and they're going to be performing pretty quickly. So a couple of hours of knocking in, a few net sessions, and your bat's going to be pretty much ready to go. Um, so yeah, really good quality bats. And yeah, the ping is excellent all over the blade, down at the toe, in the middle, and then up towards the stickers. So the rebound up towards the stickers is very good. Um, with that spine going up into the handle, you're still getting really good response further up the blade. Um, so yeah, that's cricket bat number one. Really good quality cricket bat. Um, so yeah, we'll move on to cricket bat number two. So we'll just take a look at this one. Again, lovely straight even grains. There's no blemishes and again, on another day, this could be a player's edition, limited edition bat. Um, I've seen uh, worse looking ones, in all fairness. Um, this particular one, you're looking at 9 grains, uh, a 38mm edge and a 62-63mm spine again. Similar uh, middle position with that mid to low middle position. Again, spine up into the handle. Handle slightly thicker on this one, uh, more of a semi-oval at the bottom. Again, tapers to a round and the bow is pretty much the same as well. And then if you look down the spine, again, very little to no wood taken out. This one's weighing in at 210.5 ounce, so we'll just see how it picks up. So this one for me picks up a little bit lighter, um, probably feels around about 2.9.5. Um, feels good in the hands, and we'll just see how it performs with the Reader Sovereign Cricket Ball. So performance wise, it's very good. But for me, I think cricket bat number one probably responded just a little bit better straight out of the packet. But as you can see, the response on this one is still very good. So 
So yeah, it pings really well all over the blade again. That's down at the toe, in the middle, and then up towards the stickers. So yeah, the rebound is very good all the way across the blade. And obviously getting a nice wide sweet spot as well with that very minimal uh, to no concaving. Um, so we'll just go on to cricket bat number three. So if you take a look at cricket bat number three, it's not got as many grains. Um, they're fairly nice and even, not perfectly straight, but there's no blemishes, no heartwood, there's all sapwood. So we're looking at seven grains on this particular one, which you might think is not a great deal for a grade one cricket bat. But we're going to go on to the other aspects of this cricket bat. So you've got a 39mm edge and a 62-63mm spine. You've got a medium thick semi-oval at the bottom tip towards the round. If you look down that spine, it is very full in shape, very little wood taken out. You get the thatch fit toe guard like on all the other bats. A nice bow on the bat as well. So yeah, it's a lovely looking bat, nice and big. Uh, this one is nice and light as well, 29.7. So we'll go on to the balance and the pickup. 29.7, it probably picks up around 28 and a half. Um, feels really nice and light in the hands, really well balanced. So we'll just see how it performs. And the performance is very good. Probably the best performing one out of the bats so far. The ping on it is excellent. Down towards the toe, really good. Up at the stickers, excellent. So yeah, really responsive, straight out of the packet. So a really good quality bat. So if you're someone who believes the more grains you get, the better the bat is. It's not always the case, guys. This one's got seven evenly spaced grains and it performs better than the other two bats which have more grains in it. Um, so yeah, and it's lighter and it picks up a lot better as well. Uh, so that's cricket bat number three. Cricket bat number four. So talking about grains guys, lovely grains on this one. So if you're a firm believer of more grains is better, then this bat is perfect for you. A little bit of heartwood there on the left hander's outside edge. Uh, grains wise on this particular one we're looking at 13 straight even grains. There's a few little specks just there and there but other than that it's an absolute stunning looking bat. So we'll go on to the specs. So we're looking at a 36mm edge and a 61-62mm spine. And if you look down that spine this is the fullest bass bat that I've seen. Um, I don't think you can get much fuller than that without it being a convex shape. It's very close to convex. Uh, very full, again factory fit toe guard, nice little bow in the blade there as well. Handle shape, again probably a medium to thin semi oval at the bottom, tapers to around at the top. Uh, this one is weighing in at 29.8 ounce, so a nice lightweight again. And again it picks up really well, feels really nice and balanced in the hands. And for me again it probably feels around 2.8 picks up really nice and we'll just see how it responds so yeah the rebound is excellent really good response pings are all over the blade that's right for the stickers in the middle and down towards the toe for me the performance on this one is as good as cricket bat number three. So even though cricket bat number three has got a lot less grains, it's got seven grains, uh, this one's got 13, they both perform exceptionally well. Uh, they're probably the two best performing bats so far, and this coming in the lighter weights of 29.7, 29.8, with a lovely light balance and feel as well. So yeah, that is uh, cricket bat number four, very impressed with this one. Moving on now uh, to cricket bat number five. So again, nice straight even grains. So on this particular one, we're looking at eight grains. And edge size wise, we're looking at a 36 millimeter edge and a 62 millimeter spine. So again, it's a nice size bat. And if you look there, you're getting very full shape. So very little wood taken out. Thatch fit toe guard, nice bow. So yeah, really nice looking bat. Uh, shape handle wise, medium thickness, semi-oval at the bottom, tape swords around at the top. 
So yeah, really nice. So this one is weighing at 29.4 ounces, so the lightest one out of all the bats. Uh, balance wise, again, picks up well. Um, probably doesn't pick up the lightest, even though the dead weight's the lightest. I think uh, bat three um, definitely picked up the lightest out of all the bats. Um, and bat four was probably close second with the balance and the pickup. Uh, this one's probably just behind those two. So even though it's the lightest, uh, balance wise, it's probably not the lightest pickup. Uh, but saying that, it still picks up well. So it still probably feels around about a two, two eight and a half, two nine, uh, just a little bit heavier on the pickup than the other two bats. So we'll see how it performs. Uh, performance wise, again, excellent, really good performance. This one's right up there again, pinging everywhere, down at the toe, in the middle, up at the stickers. Yeah, really good response. Um, so performance wise, this one is right up there with three and four. Three and four, and, and this one, there's not a great deal separating them. The performance straight out of the packet is very good. The weights are pretty much the same as well. Um, so it all goes down to the looks of the bats. Which one do you prefer? Because performance and balance and pickup, they're all pretty much the same. There's not a great deal between them, so it's hard to separate those three bats. Um, so yeah, they're all excellent bats. So these are on the website now for $339.99, grade one English Willow Cricket Bat. And you also get the bass uh, matching back cover. You also get free UK mainland delivery as well. Um, so we'll just go through the grading on the bats. Because a few people have asked about the grading. Um, so basically, you've got the player's edition, limit edition bat, which is the top of the range. So these are likely to be the best looking pieces of willow with the best looking grains. And then that sit below that, you've got the Bass Bow 2020, which is the Ashy Mamla bat, which is also a grade one English winner. This is a grade one plus. And then after that, you've got the Bass Exploder Cricket Bat, which is the entry level grade one English willow. But again, you're still getting stunning grains um, for an entry level grade one and these are on for $299.99 um, the players editions are $399.99 and then you've got the Bass Bow 2020s at $339.99 so really good value for money in today's market considering how bat prices are going higher and higher each year so the reason that we're able to provide such good prices is we get these hand picked from the factory uh, by one of our suppliers and then he will send those out to us and we'll receive the bats within 7 to 10 days. So if you were to receive these from another supplier, um, they would be shipped over from India where all the bass bats are made uh, on a big container and it would take 4 to 6 weeks. Uh, these bats would sit in a container for 4 to 6 weeks and then they would be distributed to retailers and that could take another 8 weeks before retailers get these bats in their hands. Our bats are with us from the factory within 7 to 10 days and then we're getting them reviewed and sent to you guys. So you're getting the best bats at the best possible prices. And um, yeah, they're all hand selected from the factory. So you can't get uh, better than that, guys. So this allows us to provide the best quality at the best possible price. Um, so yeah, we like to look after our customers. So guys, if you like any of the bats that you've seen, please feel free to get in touch. You can check out on our website. Um, there's a link in the description below. Just click that, it'll take you over to the website. You can have a look at all the bass bats that are available um, and then you can simply use the express checkout service and yeah we'll get the bat ready and sent out to you as quickly as possible um, so thank you for watching guys um, if these bats are a little bit too expensive uh, we do have bass bats in the lower price ranges which we'll be listing and reviewing shortly uh, so don't worry we do have some very good offerings in the lower grades as well um, and the prices on those are fantastic guys so uh, keep your eyes peeled for those videos so thanks again guys until next time i'll speak to you all soon bye bye